The year 2016, a year of sports that will be remembered for a long time. You have moments like Peyton Manning winning his last ever game, walking off into the sunset as a Super Bowl champion. You have the Cleveland Cavaliers coming back from 3-1 down against the record-breaking Warriors in the NBA Finals to capture a championship. Just for the heart of Cleveland to be ripped out from them in the MLB World Series as the Cubs come back from their own 3-1 deficit to win a title for the first time in 108 years. And who could forget the Villanova buzzer beater to win the national championship in March Madness. So today, I'm going to be playing six different sports games from the year 2016. So I have the wheel of sports games here. I have six different leagues. Unfortunately, I don't have any college games, so I apologize about that. But we're going to start with MLB The Show 16. And the year 2016 in the MLB was filled with a ton of great moments. Like I said earlier, the Cubs coming back from 3-1 to win their first World Series in 108 years. And you have D. Gordon, who hit an emotional home run after the passing of pitcher Jose Fernandez. Fernandez. And obviously, there's a bunch more that I didn't mention. That'll be the case in all the sports games. I'll probably talk about a few before we get into them. And here we are, MLB The Show 16 with Josh Donaldson on the cover, who just retired last year. Taking a look at some of these older players that are no longer in the MLB. Somebody like A-Rod, Big Poppy, David Ortiz, now retired. And even the great Albert Pujols, who just retired last season. And then here's that Cubs roster that won the World Series for the first time in 108 years. And it's crazy because almost nobody on this team is still still playing for the Cubs. And now let's play a game. We're going to play probably an inning or so. And we'll play like a little bit of each individual sports game that we're going to actually jump into here. So we'll pitch one and we will hit for an inning. And we got Jake Arrieta on the mound. And why not recreate the World Series matchup as we have the Cleveland Indians at the time. They're now the Guardians up against the Cubs. And what a World Series this was. And we got a strikeout with a Cy Young winner. We got Francisco Lindor that doesn't play for the Guardians anymore. He's now with the New York Mets. And we're looking for a strikeout again. But I'd like to know also in the comments, what's your favorite sports game from the year 2016? Or what's your favorite sports moment from the year 2016? We're going slider and he got a piece. Even the pitching is completely different. I don't know if I'm using meter. I don't even know what kind of pitching I'm using right now. I'm so used to pinpointing the newer MLB The Show games. So I'm just clicking a button and I'm clicking it twice to throw. And it's going in the right spot. So I guess I'm doing something right. And we're going curveball in the dirt. Are we really going to get three strikeouts? Jake Arrieta, what a curveball for the third strikeout. Let's hit. We got Dexter Fowler. And the older PCI in this game is terrible. The customization with the PCI is so much better nowadays. And we're up the middle. Dexter Fowler. Can we score a run? Maybe even hit a homer. How did we even use this PCI? This thing is gigantic. But speaking of Anthony Rizzo here. Rizzo. Oh, no way. No way. No way there's a double play. We got to play one more inning. Get that slider. Strike three. Should be money. Got him. Can we make a good throw? Is this going to be bad? Oh, looks good. Can we please get a hit? Oh, that, that looks good. Come on. Oh, that's right to the center fielder. You got to be kidding me. If you give me my PCI from the newer games, we're hitting that out. And that was absolutely terrible. Look at that power, though, from Schwarber. And I absolutely missed that. Well, it was fun playing MLB 16. Let's move on. So MLB The Show 16. What would you think about it? Do you remember actually playing that game? If you did play MLB The Show 16, now it's time for NBA 2K16. And when you talk 2016 NBA, two things come to mind. I said earlier, the Cavaliers coming back from the 3-1 deficit to win the NBA Finals, but also Kobe Bryant's final game in the NBA where he dropped over 60 points. And this might be the best intro of any NBA game ever, any sports game ever. This reminds you of something like NBA Street almost or like nfl street does not feel like it would be in a 2k game you're just moving through the final bosses here on the cover there goes curry and then once you make it past the three of them you gotta face the final boss michael jordan lebron james is only a 94 overall in this game he should easily have been a 99 how was he only a 94 you got lob city still in its prime with cp3 and blake griffin kobe has an 85 overall in his final year and then you still have kd and westbrook on the same team for the final time we're really tipping off here in cleveland between the Warriors and the Cavs, and that was an absolutely horrible tip-off by me. But this is when I play 2K the most. I really don't play it too much anymore. In, like, the 2K16, 2K14 era. Let's get this ball to LeBron. Is that Harrison Barnes on LeBron James? Oh, the shot meter is completely different. I don't even remember this. Can you spin move? Oh, this works. LeBron going to toss it up and in. Oh, no, he's got a mismatch. Look at Steph just drive in. Oh, my goodness. What just happened? LeBron just blocked Steph. I think so. Kyrie driving in, and the layup is good. I want to see a crazy LeBron dunk in 2K16. Look at Klay Thompson. Look how much different he looks. Oh my goodness. Klay Thompson doesn't even look like Klay Thompson. I swear that the graphics used to be better than this. 
Kyrie wide open. Gotta make that jumper. How do you not make that jumper? What year is like the ridiculous blow by animation year? I don't think it's this one. I think that's like 2K18. We'll use the pick here. LeBron. Kevin Love. Can we make a jump shot? Thank you. We get one. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I don't even remember how to do like the old school alley-oops. Come on, LeBron. Just dunk the ball. Just dunk the basketball, LeBron. Okay, he gets the layup. We're done here. That was fun to go back and play. Let's see where we're headed next here in 2016. It's time for FIFA 16. FIFA 16 is interesting because I've actually never played it. This is the only game in this video that I've actually never played. But I looked up some of the best moments of 2016 in the sport. And Leicester City had 5,000 to 1 odds to win the Premier League that year. And they won the whole thing. Hey, I know Messi though. He's on the cover, it looks like. You got a prime Cristiano Ronaldo in this game at a 93 overall. And a prime Lionel Messi at a... 94 overall for Barcelona. And then you got the Premier League champion Leicester City team. I'm terrible at FC24, so I'm sure I'm going to be terrible at FIFA 16. But you can tell the graphical improvement in this game. Oh my goodness, these graphics are not very good. But we're going to see. We're playing Messi and Barcelona with Leicester City. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, you can feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm trying to shoot, though. And I almost just scored a goal. <laughs> that would have been my first ever shot on FIFA 16, and it would have been a goal. Okay, we got to watch out for number 10. Got to watch out for Messi. Actually, does Messi even wear number 10 on this team? I don't know. That's how much I don't know about the sport. And that's offsides. I do know that's annoying, though. Got that ball back. Please, no offsides. It looks good. If we can get that ball, not a strong enough pass. Can we get that? Nice slide tackle there. I believe that's what that's called. Come on. Get that ball up. Oh, pass back to yourself, I guess. Come on, get some speed. Cross that pass. Get that header goal! Header goal in FIFA 16! I will take it, and I'd be lying if I told you I knew one of the players on this team. But regardless, we just scored first against a team with Messi on it. I can't believe it. that was actually a pretty good pass by me. I'm proud of myself right there. We put it in the net. I actually scored quicker in this game than the newer game. We've done half the sports so far. We still have half to go. And next up is NHL 16. Well, I have bad news. My NHL 16 is installed on my Xbox. The other games are on my PlayStation. And for some reason, I can't load the game and I cannot reinstall it. It completely disappeared from my game library and I tried to buy it. You can't buy it on the Xbox store and it would take too long to come. So what we're going to do, I have NHL 17 installed. We're going to play that and we'll talk about NHL 17 and 16 because they're not really that different at the end of the day. Well, uh, um, welcome to NHL 17. Yeah, the Chicago Blackhawks that won three cups in the 2010s. They still have all of their stars that are a part of that dynasty. You still have a prime Sidney Crosby as a 95 overall, the highest overall in the game with Evgeny Malkin, Latang, Phil Kessel, Patrick Hornquist as they're going to win a Stanley Cup this year. Then you have Alex Ovechkin still in his prime as a 94 overall. At this point, hasn't won a Stanley Cup. You have Backstrom, Carlson, Kuznetsov. This team's still really good and contending for a cup. And then the new kids in town, it's Connor McDavid, who now is the face of the NHL, but back then it was just a second year player it's crazy because i've also made videos with nhl 16 on this xbox i don't know what happened to it all of a sudden but crosby what are we looking for here the dangles maybe backhand and he scores just like that did the kid scores a goal and it's too early to move on let's score a little bit more i know we're playing nhl 17 right now but i love nhl like 14 that's the greatest in the series in my opinion at least over the last 10 to 15 years nhl 15 wasn't great for its modes and neither was 16 but I'm not gonna lie i did enjoy hockey ultimate team in those games i did love giving ea my money not anymore but i did love giving them my money back then i was all about the microtransactions crosby Oh my goodness, I was trying to get that wrist shot. I don't know what happened. I think we got hit a little bit. Trying to get that puck back. If we get a hat trick with Crosby in NHL 17, that'd be pretty funny at this point. Ooh, almost went in for them, actually. Watch out, they might score here. Oh, no, don't go in. Don't go. Oh, what a save by Matt Murray. How did that not go in the net? Sid's got the puck back. Oh, Sid just flying past everybody. Crosby again. The backhand, forehand, backhand used to be even more cheese than it is today. Yeah, you don't realize how big of a graphical improvement they've actually made since this game until you go back and play this game. Same thing with like 2K. You thought the graphics were amazing back then, but there really is so much of a difference because this game does not look good. Crosby, come on, get a four. Oh my goodness, almost got deflected in right there for Crosby. I'm gonna get like a wrist shot or something. Let's see, does that corner? Actually, never mind. just wrap it in front. How did that not go in actually? I'm looking to go, like, glove side. There used to be cheese on the wrist shot. Let's see. You go into, like, the slot. You just rip it. If I get a second from the CPU that are all over me here. My goodness, I can't get any separation. But this puck to Crosby. Across! Crosby! There it is! That's a beautiful one-timer goal. 
That's what I was looking for. Do we have a hat trick animation in this game? Do they even throw the hats? They might not even throw them. Oh, they're throwing them. Okay, I see a little bit of hat action. And now we got to fight. Let's go, Kunitz. Come on. The fighting's pretty much the same, I think, in this year's game compared to NHL 16 and 17. Oh, and I'm getting destroyed. I'm going to get knocked out. Come on, Kunitz. No, we're throwing rights. I'm getting knocked out. I'm so getting knocked up. I'm knocked out. And with that embarrassment of a fight, we got two more sports to do. And now I move to the WWE. And yes, I know that WWE is predetermined, but they still had some pretty awesome moments in 2016. First off, you have Goldberg that returned after about a 12 year absence to destroy Brock Lesnar, a real fighter in about 90 seconds, one of the craziest matches ever. Then you have a guy like AJ Styles, the hottest free agent in the sports entertainment world coming to WWE and making his in-ring debut. You got John Cena as the highest rated superstar in the game at a 95. Roman Reigns still trying to become a baby face in the company before he becomes the head of the table like five years later. And lastly, you have Cody Rhodes, who's now the biggest star in WWE today as one of the worst gimmicks of all time, Stardust. We're squaring up The Rock and John Cena right now. One more time, Rock and Cena going at it. And what can we do here, John? John, we just got planted on the canvas. The Rock just tossed us like we were nothing. And we're getting pinned? And we're getting pinned. John, we better get out of this pin. I don't need the tutorial. We better get out. Thank you, John. John. Oh my goodness. Clothesline out of the ring. Let's go, John. Go top rope. Go on top rope. John's going to fly. John's flying outside. John Cena with the elbow drop to the outside of the ring. John, we got the finisher. We couldn't do the five knuckle shuffle. The signature did not work, but we got the finisher. We're trying to finish the rock here. With the attitude adjustment, that's John Cena's finisher. One, two, three. The Rock kicked out it too. You gotta be kidding me. If I go up top here. The What? He just caught me with the rock bottom? I've never seen that even in the newer games. Now we get the finisher. Attitude adjustment to the rock. Please put this man away. One, two, three. Cena wins in 2K16. And we're gonna finish this with Madden 16 and the NFL. The NFL actually didn't have a lot of crazy moments in 2016. I would say the only significant moment is actually Peyton Manning winning his final game and winning the Super Bowl. But this might be the best intro to a Madden game of all time with Odell Beckham Jr. There are three 99s in this game with Aaron Rodgers in his prime, JJ Watt in his prime at only 26 years of age, and Gronk at a 99 at only 26. The Rams still play in St. Louis at this point. The Chargers are still in San Diego, and the Raiders are still in Oakland. Daniel Sanders wide open, Peyton Manning hitting his man in stride right there for 15 yards. And after playing all of these sports games, you forget how bad the graphics are compared to the newer games. You really don't think that because every year when you play a sports game, it doesn't feel like the graphics change that much. But when you play an eight year difference, they change a lot. And is that Demarius Thomas? He couldn't hold on to that one. Then we can get a deep shot here to somebody. Demarius, two on one kind of, but Demarius Thomas, what a grab. The aggressive catch in Madden 16 with Odell especially is absolutely broken. My throw to Demarius Thomas, we'll see. He's one on one, I'm throw oh he's open. He doesn't even need the aggressive catch. Demarius Thomas from Peyton Manning in Madden 16. That's gonna do it for the video everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel and make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.